Hi everybody, welcome to this week's session of St. Luke's Little Church. It's the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B. So as it's the beginning of our lesson, let's start with our prayer. And I think today, maybe we'll just say the Hail Mary. So let's put our hands together and we'll make the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. And we ask our Lady to bless all those young people who are doing their HSC. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. So before we start, and we go into our gospel this week. Let's sing our song that lets us know that we're about to listen to God's word. Listen, listen to God's word. God is speaking, he is near. Alleluia, sing his praise. Alleluia, hearts we raise. Fill us, fill us with your love. Send your spirit from above. Right, so this week, we're listening to a reading from the Gospel of Mark, and it's about a young man who had a question for Jesus. So let's see what he asks Jesus and what Jesus' answer is. One day, Jesus and his disciples were on their way to Jerusalem. A rich young leader came running to Jesus. He got down on his knees and asked Jesus a question. Good teacher. What do I need to do to live with you forever in heaven when I die? Good teacher, why do you call me good? Only God is truly good. I believe you are from God, teacher. Hmm. Well, to answer your question, you know the Ten Commandments, right? You must not murder. You must not be unfaithful to your wife. You must not steal. You must not tell lies. You must not cheat anyone. Honor your father and mother. Oh yes, teacher. I've obeyed all these commandments since I was a kid. Is that all? Jesus looked at the man with a smile. He loved this young man. Jesus really wanted this man to follow him and could see what was holding him back. Well then, there's still one thing you haven't done. Go and sell everything you own and give your money to the poor so you will have treasure in heaven. Then. I want you to come follow me and be one of my disciples. When the man heard this, his face fell. Instead of saying yes to Jesus' offer, he walked away, feeling sad. He didn't want to give up his stuff. It would be easier for a camel to walk through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. You can't get there holding on to the things you love here on earth. You have to let go of the things on earth to grab on to the things of heaven. The disciples wondered, who in the world could be saved then? Isn't that too hard for anyone to do? With your own human strength, it is impossible. But with God's strength, everything is possible. Peter, one of Jesus' disciples said, we've given up everything to follow you, Jesus. Yes, you have. And I promise you that everyone who has given up everything to follow me and spread the good news will receive a reward a hundred times better. In life on earth, you'll face hard times and suffering, but you'll get eternal life. Those who are the greatest now will be the least important then. Those who seem the least important now will be the greatest in heaven. Wow. So let's have a little bit of a chat about some of the things that we learned in that story. I wonder, Grace, remember that man that came to Jesus at the beginning? What was it that he wanted Jesus to tell him? What did he ask him? How to how he can live eternal life. Yeah, so how do I get to heaven? And what did Jesus remind him to do? He reminded him to follow the Ten Commandments. He reminded him to follow the Ten Commandments. And he said, what did he say? He said, 
I do. He said that he does, but he's yeah. been doing it as well. As well. He, he did. He said, I do, Jesus. What, what else can I do? And Jesus recognised the man's goodness and sincerity. So what did he tell him to do next? He told him to give away all his things and donate his money to the poor. He did. He said, give away everything you own. And what did the man do? Was that something he found easy? Was it something he wanted to do? No, he didn't find it easy to do and he walked away. That's sad, don't you think? So what did the disciples give up? What did the disciples such as Peter? So Peter's a saint poet, Peter. What did he give up to become a follower of Jesus? Everything. Everything. What's everything? Like his, his family, his family, his home, his job. Peter was a fisherman, so he stopped fishing. And what did Jesus promise for him to, he gave up all these things. So what did he get in return for making this commitment? He had to be a disciple of Jesus. And where was he going? He's going to the kingdom of God. Going to the kingdom of God. Wow. It can be hard, can't it, to give up some of the things that, that we love so much, but we love Jesus and we love God so much more. I know sometimes when I ask you to get rid of some of the toys you don't play with anymore, you find that hard. But when we do it and we give things away, it frees us up to be able to hear God better. And when we give things away, we feel good and, and we feel like the kindness and the love is growing in us, which is what God wants us to do, isn't it? Yeah. So when we go to heaven, we're not carrying these things we don't need. We come to God with our hearts and our souls open and pure. So we've been singing some songs where we've used our hands, some sign language. So we sang Jesus, we sang a different one last week, but this week in the holy month of the rosary, we thought we might sing the Hail Mary using our hands. So Grace and I are still learning this one. We might, be, we might make some mistakes. So it's okay if you make mistakes at home, but let's try this new one together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. lovely and you know you don't have to be able to sing it all you need to do is every day you just say even if you say one hail mary uh one our father and one hail mary in the holy month of mary this month of october i think that would be lovely and if you can practice this you can just find it on youtube or watch this video again all right so we've come to the end now of our session for this week let's finish with our apostles creed <coughs> I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. 
On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection and the life everlasting. Amen. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for joining us again this week. We look forward to having you next week. Stay safe, have a great week, and uh, take care. Bye.